Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in the 10th episode of Andor, we saw all the inmates finally break free except for Kino. Kino was probably running the show, I think for me, the most once he entered the scene. Andy Serkis is a brilliant actor and the character of Kino Loy I think was written really well. So it really made me sad when we saw that Kino wasn't able to jump ship, so to speak, because he couldn't swim. And we don't know if we'll ever see him again in the show. Now, personally, I think he's as likable as Cassian, if not more, and I'd love to see him as a regular on the show. As for his fate, I would have to say he hopefully found a way off that prison. Now, there must be a way for guards to get out of there, unless they're all trapped too, in which case that would be a very insane scheme by the Empire to literally kill off anyone and everyone there. Now, I don't think that's the case. This is a very interesting jail cell. It's a very interesting prison. As if this was the case, then the guards would soon join the inmates in rebelling and finding a way out of there because they would realize that they're all doomed. So, okay, the guards are obviously able to get out of there, so Kino has to use his smarts to get to the lower levels or somewhere, somehow, and either get a ship to leave on his own, or if the Empire has scheduled transfers that pick up and drop off. He could disguise himself as an officer and get out of there. Now, I'm sure if something were to go really wrong with the place, like it would blow up, there are probably some escape pods, maybe escape submarines, maybe even rebreathers like we saw in episode one with Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi when they were following Jar Jar Binks to Gungan City. Now, one thing that I found pretty interesting with Cassian and all the inmates jumping ship and swimming to shore was, first of all, that it was extremely far away, but also what sea creatures are on that world. As we know, there's always a bigger fish. Now, I'm thinking the Empire could have scheduled transfers that pick up and drop off guards and other people that are working there. So he could disguise himself as an officer and get out of there alive. Or maybe even once the ship lands, he could shoot them and hijack it. I really hope that he wasn't just a catalyst for Cassian to get off that prison island, and I hope we get to see more of him. So here's a quote from Andy Serkis himself, who plays Kino Loy, what he had to say about Kino surviving. Oh wow, I hadn't thought of that. I mean, the thing is, yeah, that would be an amazing thing. I don't know what the future holds for Kino Loy. Who knows? He might be stuck on that ship or whatever. I don't know. But let's see. I haven't had any discussions yet, but I don't know. We'll have to see what everyone thinks of it and the outcome. So now let's play along and pretend that he's telling the truth when he said he hasn't had any discussions with Tony Gilroy about the fate of Kino Loy. Now, oftentimes, all actors are under NDA, so they can't really say what they know or what they don't know, or obviously spoil anything to do with their character. Their allegiance is to their contract, their job, the director. So let's go ahead and play along and pretend that he is telling the truth here. If that were the case, then usually in Star Wars we know anyone can be brought back if we don't see them die. Oh, well, except for a few of these moments. So the fact that Kino is just roaming the halls of the ship while the guards are cowering in fear tells me he has a few minutes to get out of there before he's arrested. Now, if he were to be arrested, and this is where it gets interesting, I think the Empire would either terminate him or send him somewhere else to another one of these facilities where he won't break free, perhaps one stationed in space. That would be much more difficult to get out of, and hopefully it would be a lot better secured. A popular fan theory, and this is just for fun, is that he actually will be punished by the Empire, experimented upon, and turned into Snoke through different means, alchemy, things like that that we learned through Episode 9, and that's why Snoke has the same voice as him. Obviously, that's just a funny made-up thing that we fans like to create, like all the old Snoke theories, if you guys remember. You know, for one last hurrah, one last laugh on Snoke theories, I think I might make this one and try to dive down the rabbit hole, the theory rabbit hole. While, of course, we know it's not true. I hope this isn't the last we saw of Kino Loy. I think he's a really cool character. I think there's a lot to learn about him, why he ended up in prison, more about his past, and I'd definitely be open to basically anything Andy Serkis. I think he's a really phenomenal actor, and he really sells any script that he's given. I always enjoy his work. Let me know what you guys think happened to Kino Loy down below in the comments. Does he survive? Does he turn to the Empire? Does he get terminated by them? Or does he actually jump and try to get out of there through swimming? My theory is that he waits for a transport ship to come and pick up some guards and drop off new ones, and he hijacks the ship, or he just gets on and pretends to be a guard. The fact that we didn't see his demise, at least not yet, tells us that there will be a possible opening for him to come back. 
because he's definitely not gone, we just don't know what happened to him. And I always like those. I always like those open-ended questions. But hey, at the end of the day, this is the Cassian Andor show and not the Kino Loy show. So we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments, and I will see you in the next episode on Star Wars Theory. Until then, remember, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, the Force will be with you. Always. Hey guys, how are you? Black Friday, I'm having a massive sale. So not only will things be percentage off on sale, but we'll also be doing a exclusive Black Friday release for a flex fit Order 66 hat. So no more mesh on the sides. It'll be a flex fit style like this. So it'll just be without dog hair on it. And that one's gonna be blacked out. So if you remember in the beginning of the channel, I think the first, the second year, I released these hats and they were all blacked out. And they were a they were a huge seller. Like you guys really liked those. I really liked those too. And until now, apparently I couldn't get those to be made. So now finally I'm having to order special stock of this. Because with how spring works, you basically uh, someone orders it and then then they make it. But this one I have to actually order the stock first and then we sell out. So I'm gonna order just a limited amount, maybe 250 of them at most, just like a super, super limited limited number and I want it to be just exclusive for you guys for those of you watching at the end of this video so you know about it as well as on top of that I'm doing a tracksuit launch that's going to be limited as well with the embroidered blacked out order 66 logo it's going to look super sleek it's going to look fresh and I'm very excited to get it to you guys as soon as I can for Black Friday so keep a lookout for that uh, save your money if you want to buy some merch. It'll be very, very limited. And I know it's going to sell out fast, but I just want to give you guys a heads up in this video. And once I release it, it'll be on Black Friday, as well as the entire site will be on sale. So make sure you go and grab something. If you ever wanted some merch from my merch shop, there will be no, a lot more designs coming for December as well. There will be another uh, Order 66 style hat with, um, you guys saw maybe during the Nerd Theory, there were, um, like some Christmas lights and stuff around it. So that's also another exclusive one that I'm working on just for Christmas time. And then we'll be getting more creative as we go on forwards. Hope you guys are excited. Black Friday, save the date. I'm gonna have a lot of cool stuff coming for you guys. Love you. Thank you for watching today's video. And let me know what you think in the comments as always. See you in the next one. Until then, remember the force will be with you always.